I'm now on the TVR Car Club stand with Ralph Dodds. Good afternoon, Ralph. Good and afternoon. And welcome to the Classic Car and Restoration Show 2017. Thank you. Good to be here. Could you tell me a little bit about the TVR Club, please? Yes, the club was formed um, in 1965 and uh, so therefore we just celebrated our 50th anniversary just over a year ago uh, formed uh, in the Midlands and um, it's a club for all enthusiasts of TVR so not just an owners club but anybody who's interested in Britain's greatest sports car and how many members, roughly, would you say you had now? At the moment, we're around about 5,500, um, which has been fairly static for the last um, 10 years or so, uh, despite the fact that no new TVRs have been produced in that time. Uh, of course, with the exciting news that the new TVR is coming out this year, uh, we're already starting to see a slight increase in numbers as, uh, uh, as, as the interest in the market starts to grow again. So could you give me a brief description of some of the cars on the stand? Yes, certainly. Um, what we've got here today is a, a range, and of course, we're not forgetting, actually, we've got two stands here today. Um, so on, you're on the main stand here, um, and we've got cars ranging from a Mark I Grand Tura, um, which was actually here last year um, in a state being stripped down, and we've got it here um, almost in a position that's going to go back onto the road. We've got a Mark II Grand Tura that has just started its restoration, and we've been taking bits off it uh, during the show. Um, we've got uh, the chassis from an S3C, um, which is um, part way through restoration, and we're hoping at some point in the next 12 months to see that with the body back on. Um, and on the main stand, we, we finish up with a 4-litre Griffith from 1992, um, which is virtually as it appeared when it came out of the factory. Over on our second stand, um, we've got Tasman number 2, which some could describe as a barn find. It wasn't technically a barn, it was a front garden. Um, and it really does look as if it's just come out of the garden, complete with the moss and the grass growing everywhere. Uh, and that's about to go into a restoration. Next to it is a TBR 450 SEAC, which is one of the last of the wedges, um, that last year at the show we, we mated the body and chassis back together. Uh, so that's been fully restored. And it was recently runner-up in the Trevor Wilkinson Trophy, which is the club's award for the best restoration of the year. And what do you currently own? Oh, I've currently got a pair of wedges. So I've got uh, a Series 1 Tasman, uh, Tasman Convertible, uh, which is just about to uh, start a, a full body off nut and bolt restoration. And I own one of the very rare 350 plus 2s, one of only six built, um, which I did a restoration on about uh, 10, 12 years ago now. Um, and supposedly it's a 2 plus 2 uh, by the time I'd finished restoring it both of my children were too big to go in the back uh, and the youngest was only 4 so <laughs> the, there's not a lot of room in the back but it's, a, it, it's such a rare car that I look on it as I'm keeping it for the next generation And what about the show? Has the show been successful? Yeah, we, we I have to say we did toy about with the idea of not coming this year um, but uh, I was persuaded that we really ought to be here and I'm glad we did because the stand has been busy all day uh, today, yesterday a little bit quieter, but you expect that on the Friday. Um, but we haven't stopped. Uh, I think some of our, uh, our, our members who are looking after stand are starting to look a bit tired now. Yeah. The long days, aren't they? They are very long days. Um, so, have you been here for all? Th have you been here for all three? No, no. Unfortunately, um, uh, it was uh, end of the financial year for my biggest customer yesterday, so I had to be in the office to make sure that, w that, that a lot of deliverables went out. Uh, so, uh, no, I'm, I'm just here today. Um, but the lots, lots of our members will be here over the weekend and, uh, and looking after it for everyone. And what about the 50 years? Did you have a big celebration for that? We did. In fact, uh, we well, first, first of all, we were very proud to receive Classic and Sports Cars um, uh, Award for the Best Club of the Year in 2015. Um, but uh, the big celebration uh, was centred around Millbrook. Uh, we're the only car club that have ever been allowed to, to rent the Millbrook circuit. Uh, and so we allowed uh, 270, I think it was, of our members to drive the Alpine circuit, uh, which, of course, was where they, they crashed the DBS, I think it was, in the famous Bond film. Um, and then we also had use of the high-speed bowl and the handling circuit, uh, which, was, uh, which was great fun for all involved. We tied that in with a, uh, a big day at Shuttleworth for a fly-in, um, and it was great to see the best of British cars with some of the best of British aircraft. So does the TVR club have 
race days at all, you know, days when you can take your car into the circuit? Uh, you mean track days? Yes, we do. We've got um, uh, at least two coming up this year. Uh, we've got Cadwell booked in September um, and tying in with our big event this year, which is celebrating TVR's 70th, called Back Home to New Home, when probably 600 TVRs will drive from the old factory in Blackpool um, to the new factory site at Evervale in, uh, in South Wales. We finish that up on the Monday with a track day at the, the local Clandow circuit. Well, thank you very much for the interview, Ralph, and I hope the rest of the show goes well for you. My pleasure. Thank you very much indeed.